Good evening, Merry Christmas, and welcome to Light Language University and Circle Insights. Um, tonight, while well, you're welcome to Light Code Portal, we are sponsored by Light Language University and Circle Insights. Tonight, we have a very exciting episode. We have our entire staff that's going to talk, and we're going to talk about our different departments, and we're going to explain to everybody a little bit about what we do and how we do it. Um, again, my name is Tanya Griffin. I'm the Dean of Education with Light Language University, where we are here to inspire others who are awakening and to aid in the imminent growth and conscious awareness of being multidimensional. Good evening and Merry Christmas, Miss Anna. How are you tonight? Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Wonderful. I'm excited about tonight because we have all our friends here. <laughs> Yes, I feel like yes. I feel like the Brady Bunch. You need to look down. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <I'll> look up. <laughs> yes, just so, to let yeah. everybody know, of course, this is Anna Noyce. She is our founder of Light Language University and Circle Insights. We have Jeannie Mills, who is our assistant uh, dean of education, and we have Elizabeth Morgan, who is our fabulous marketing and media person. Yes. Welcome, guys. Hello. Hello. Merry Christmas Merry and Christmas. happy holidays. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I want to let all of our viewers know that are out there. Go ahead and submit any questions you have. We will be answering them live tonight so you can pose them to any of us. Um, we're going to start um, just a little bit to let you know what each department is. Um, as Dean of Education, I am over the, uh, of course, over the school. I uh, counsel with the students that are coming in, uh, talk to them about the different programs and what all we have to offer. Um, I give them counseling over what direction that they need to move in and uh, I'm just there for the students to help them. Um, where Miss Jeannie, who is our Assistant Dean, it does a little bit different. She's over a, a little bit different part of the, the university. Uh, Jeannie, you want to tell us a little bit about what you do? Absolutely. Um, I'm over the ambassador program is one of the big things. And that's we actually have three different programs. We've got the store program, student program, and then individual practitioners program. Um, do you want me to go ahead and go into details or are we just doing highlights first? Well, you can just just tell me um, what would what 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 is your ambassador store program like? Okay, sure. It's basically it's a partnership, like an agreement between Light Language University and stores, shops, different places. Um, it can be it can be an actual standing business, or it can be if somebody goes to places and stuff and sets things up, then that they could be one of our store ambassadors as well. Um, some of the perks that we give them, we publish them. Basically, we advertise for them and we want them to advertise for us. So we're lifting them up and they lift us up. And so what we do is by um, publishing in the monthly Light Language University newsletter that Elizabeth does and we give them VIP treatment at all of the Light Language University sponsored fairs and special rates for Light Language 101 because, and we do that because we want to make sure that, that they have a good understanding about Light Language University, about what we're about, about our classes, our workshops, and also about our developing groups. So that kind of like helps them to have a better idea and stuff of to be able, because what we want them to do then is to be able to talk to people that come into the stores and hand out brochures, our business cards, and we, and also to sell our merchandise. We have some great mugs and, and different wonderful little things, cards and stuff. So um, we want them, we want them to tell the customers about we have a new class that's called new to all this class. And so like somebody that comes into the store and maybe says, gosh, you know, I'm just starting. I'm kind of feeling like I'm wakening up, but I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. 
They can hand them our brochure. They can sign them up right on the spot and get them signed up. It's called new to all this class. And it's a very minimal amount of payment and it kind of like gets their feet wet. And we, we basically, it's like a question answer thing up to where they can kind of learn about different programs and different classes and just kind of a basic of, of anything that they might have questions that they can ask and get answered. So it's a, it's a wonderful class that we have. And then of course, also they sign that sign people up for Light Language 101 class, which is our, our very beginning class. Um, we also have the ambassador students, and that is after students have, we have the two core classes, that's Light Language 101 and 102. After they've completed those, if they want to be a volunteer for the university, then we have like different kinds of things, you know, that we can use them for at the fairs or that they can help write um, the the stuff for the, oh my goodness, sorry. The newsletter. <laughs> newsletter. <laughs> um, articles, that was the word. Um, yeah, so there, there's just a lot of different things. And then the perks that they get are um, that they get to come with us to out of town fairs. We will help them with hotel rooms and that kind of thing. Um, there's just, there's, it's like endless. I mean, like I could go on and on and on. There's just so much and stuff that it's, it's really a wonderful program and we're very excited about it. Then there is individual practitioners. Now this is our, our one, it's a little bit different um, but yet it's still basically the same. It's that a lot of people that are mediums or, you know, whatever healers, whatever it is that they do, that they do on their own. Um, if they have websites and stuff like that, then they can be in our individual practitioners program. And so it, it's the same type of idea that they promote us, we promote them. And we do have like lots of little perks along the way. So, <laughs> so join you us that, <laughs> uh -huh. on that individual practitioner program. Yes. This is something new too that we started yep. right at the end yep. of the fair season, where we're having um, the educational panels at the fairs. Do you mm -hmm. want to talk a little bit about you know why we have those and what those are about? Yes, and that also, that kind of like goes back to what I was saying before about people that come in that are saying, oh, I'm new to all this. I don't know what to do. Well, we we have panels that they can come in and sit down and listen. Like we had at the last one that we had, we had three different panels. And the first one, um, we did like the healers that use modalities. And so we had four different people up there that were talking about all the different things that they use and, and just basically, and then we had one that had, that don't use healers that don't use tools and then um, different types of mediumship, which there's so many people that don't know about all the different kinds of healing. You know, you might not even realize that of what all is out there. It can help you either whether you are looking for a healer or if you feel that you are a healer, but you don't know where to go. You don't know. You just you just don't know. You you are confused. You don't know who to ask. You don't know where to go. Um, this is a wonderful opportunity. They tell us a little bit about what they do. And then we have questions and answers from people in the audience. And it, it's really a great thing. I mean, like it was it was really funny of about like the last one with the mediumship that people don't know that there are so many different types of mediums. And I mean, we only had four up there, but oh my goodness, there's many, many, many more. And we're very excited about in the future of to be able to get like doctors and you know scientists, all different kind, all different types of people and stuff that are enlightened that can talk about what they do and what they can do, and to be able to find to be able to 
it's a it's a nice way to be able to see if you connect either with a certain person or just with the modality. So, I mean, that's kind of basically. Exactly. <laughs> I could go on and on for hours. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Miss Elizabeth. I'm going to pick on you next. You are a wonderful marketing media person. You are the uh, the eyes and ears behind us that makes us uh, all nice, bright, and shiny. Tell us a little bit about your department and what you do. Uh, I do the website, uh, social media, and we, like was mentioned, our monthly newsletter. Uh, and I do have two student ambassadors. I have one, Rael, who helps me with the newsletter. She writes articles um, along with Anna. Anna writes an article every month also. Um, and we also feature a book of the month. And these are all books that are recommended through Light Language University. Uh, you can see a list of all of our books on our website. Uh, you can go to lightlanguageuniversity.com and find the list of books there. Um, and I have another ambas student ambassador, Brooke, who helps me with social media. So she does some posting for me on Facebook, for our Facebook page. So and that's um, very I also, important. <laughs> it is very important. Yes. It is. Brooke and I have, and I have to give Rael a quick shout out to Brooke, too, because she comes to she helps me in so many ways. She comes to the fairs and everything. So sorry. That's okay. No, jump in. And <laughs> yeah, Brooke is very willing to help uh, all of us out. So it's very much appreciated. Um, I also do flyers, oh. brochures, and anything else you guys need. Right. But those, those, those lovely Facebook posts and those social media posts, the Instagram, those are invaluable to help people stay up with us, the meetup groups and so forth that mm -hmm. you, you were over and you just make sure that they're all up to date. It's great. That's it's brought a lot of people in this year to um, spread our message. Right. And I love that people can post and ask questions. I think that's really important because they can go straight to the Facebook and you're really good about if somebody does send you a question that you post it so right. that other people can have a conversation. So it's amazing. Yeah. yeah so post your questions, guys. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> Anna, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got started and what your, your motivation was in starting light language? Oh, the university. Well, that was waking yes. up in the daytime and 2007 with those two golden beings standing there next to the bed. And this is in my book, a journey into the sacred heart. And they're looking at me in 2007 and I'm awake. My husband's sleeping next to me and he's snoring and I'm realizing it's daylight and the animals are, we have pets. So our pets were kind of waking up and the, you know, window and the sunlight's coming in and these golden beings are saying, this is not what it's about. So my whole world turned into the awakening process. And, and that's kind of what happens when people start to awaken and they start to recognize that they're um, multidimensional. Now, my father had always taught me as a child about being multidimensional. And I just thought he was telling me stories. It wasn't until I really stepped in and worked with these beautiful light beings. The golden light, we work a lot with golden white light. So golden light reminds us that we're whole, it reminds us that we're connected as one. Then the universe or God energy or creator, however you want to say it, um, our spirit universe, um, the white light is purity. So we tend to, our school colors are gold and white, and we tend to use a lot of that gold and white in our healing modalities, awakening, opening up the process. We have certain processes and tools that we give our students. We share on the podcast um, how people can open up their third eye or, or start to open up the clear audience and different um, parts of their chakras or blocks. And, and it's a wonderful way of educating people. I, and we really kind of consider that the goal, this is really their school these these beautiful beings and we started out with two and i think we're up to six possibly seven they 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 kind of multiply as we start to grow <laughs> they start helping us more and more so we have more energy coming in and of course you guys are amazing with working with these beings and and getting the message out that we're connected 
in oneness. So very inspired. And I know um, I teach the workshops, but we're going to have a couple of you guys teaching some of the workshops, which is going to be great. And classes. Yeah, um, Jeannie mentioned new to all this, which I encourage anybody who has questions. That's a great one to start with, because if you want to know, I, and I love this, you know, do dead people see you in the shower naked? Yes, you know, <laughs> they do. Do they care? No. <laughs> They're more interested in whatever they're trying to do. I mean, you can ask pretty much any question and the beings, if we don't know the answer, we're definitely channeling those beautiful golden beings that come in and help answer those questions. We also work with the Akashic Records, Shamanic Journeying. Oh, goodness, uh, Tanya, we have a lot. We have Medical Intuitive and we have, we just did a Sacred Geometry. Elizabeth was able to attend that. And what did you think, Elizabeth, of the Sacred Geometry? That is an amazing workshop, I have to say. <laughs> I thought the energy was strong before, but <laughs> after, yeah, Sacred Geometry was just amazing. It was just amazing. Takes us to the whole nother level. Oh, so yes. those, those extra classes. So we do 101 uh, is the basic 102. And I think Jeannie and uh, Tanya mentioned that earlier. And then we do the basic work uh, classes. And then you can take something like medical intuitive and then go on to do sacred geometry. And Elizabeth, I know we talked about that, that it's really important to have that base of 101, 102 and uh, medical intuitive medical to know intuitive. how we, we can go into sacred geometry and start working with energies. So we kind of, we work building it up. Uh, Akashic yeah. Records is the same way. We have the, the first layer of really helping people dig deep into the Akashic Records and learn about their own records. You got to learn about yourself first <laughs> before you go out. And then you go into those higher classes so you can start to read other people's records, start to explore other dimensions that are not something you, you explore, but get to go into or go into other rooms because you're working with someone that's that's in front of you or you're working with someone there. And we have shamanic classes. And what I like about our shamanic classes is it's journeying. So yes, uh, basic shamanic, shamanic classes are about journeying, but we do six different realms. And we actually, and I know uh, Elizabeth and Jeannie, you both, Jeannie, did you take shamanic? I, I think, no, I think you didn't. Okay. So we do, and this is something that's different that I like. Um, there are not a lot of um, out there that are teaching you the maps. We actually show you the maps. We show you the pathways. We work, of course, with the spirit animals and the totems. We work uh, the basic, but we're showing you quicker ways to access these realms and how to access, access <laughs> consciousness in a split second, which is what light language is about. So you're working on that eighth dimension of light, um, of bringing very quickly with thought, thought and light, and you're there. Of course, uh, Tanya, you know we talk about this in our in our classes. It's like building a muscle. You have to start. You got this this muscle. That's not going to pick up anything very heavy. But the longer that you practice, the more things you can pick up and the heavier you can lift. So it is a process of, of working that up. And then that's why we patterned the, the, the university the way that we did with having the light language 101 and 102 is your basics because you need to have those so you have that foundation. And then you have your higher courses, be the Akashic Records or a Medical Intuitive or whatever. Those are the ones that you move on to, but you still need to have that good foundation first before you build on that. And then of course, with Light Language 101 and 102, we, we, we uh, develop study groups for that. Oh, yeah. So that way, when you take it, you actually, you're not just left out there with just the 101 and 102. You can sign up and come to the study groups and actually practice the exercises that you learned in 101 and 102. And then yes. when you move on to um, medical intuitive or um, Akashic records or whatever, whatever you want to do, if you want to become, we have the three different levels. We have the seekers level, which is people who are just trying to expand their knowledge and they're not sure what they want to do. And then we have the practitioners those are the ones who want to go on to become a medical intuitive or to read Akashic records. 
And then we have the teacher's level for those who actually want to come back through the, the, uh, the university and teach. So that's why we, we patterned it the way that we did is so that way you are still getting all of the, um, the education and the support that you need. Because with each of the, the practitioner and the teacher's program, we have developing groups that you have to go through. It's you go through the first 20 hours, which is developing and working on yourself. And then the other hours is actually working on clients and getting the hands-on clinical experience. So that's why the university is patterned the way it is. And when you go to our website, it's our website is fantastic, by the way. Anybody who hasn't been to our website, it has a wealth of information. So many things. We um, One of the things we're working on right now is starting to upload classes that are recorded. So that way people can actually just click on that, pay for it, and take the class without having to have an actual instructor there. But that and that's coming in the near future. We're just working on uploading those classes right now. But one of the other things that we have on there is we have our YouTube channel that's on there. And Anna has done a whole plethora of YouTubes over different meditations and different things that you can go and learn so much for free just right there on our website. Um, we have all of our recommended reading that you can go to. You can learn so much just by spending an hour going through our website. That's one of the things that we're very proud of. And that's thanks to both Anna, Elizabeth, and Steve, which is Anna's husband, who is also one of our, <laughs> our technical people. The engineer for us. Yeah. We're usually yeah. yelling, Steve, help us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, definitely. So I, I also wanted to bring back our, the study groups because you're doing 16 hours for those workshops and you're, they're a weekend workshop and you get so much information. And you, I always tell people it's like a banquet. You have this huge banquet and you get to sample bits and taste a little bit of each, but you really want to learn about certain things. So those study groups, as you guys know, because we've been, we've been doing this for a little while, are really digging deep getting your hands dirty, really understanding the process. And we do things like the monad, the hermetic laws, the principles of the hermetic laws. We break all that down. We go into um, energy chakras. There's so much about chakras that people think, well, it's, it's easy. It's uh, spinning vortexes and they go clockwise. There is so much, right, ladies, that we, <laughs> that people, when you start really studying those chakras, it's amazing and how to work in energies and dimensions and, and how we plug in. So we go into those those depths and details of children and the um, the Aquarian and Piscean and how things shift and how your energy shifts and how to detox, right? I mean, it just goes on. And so how to change water, how to work with energies, how to, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I can keep going. <laughs> So those those study groups, if you take a, a Light Language 101, we have a Light Language 101 study. Do you want to tell them a little bit about the study groups, Elizabeth? Or Tanya, Tanya, sorry. Um, well, that's what I just mentioned those will go. I don't know if I'm getting some reverb here, but um, on the, the study groups, um, once you take the 101 and 102, so you can come back, back and actually practice some of those um concepts and, and stuff that you learn in 101 and 102 because you learn it so quickly it's hard to absorb everything that comes at you so it's really necessary to have those study groups to come back into to be able to to do the hands-on meditations and jumps and the things that you do to further your your um your journey So, okay, now I've got a question for each of y'all to make this fun. Because this is, we've, we've called this our building year. The, you know, we, we started, uh, we actually opened the doors in February, and we've added a whole lot of stuff this year, and we built this year. So now I'm going to ask each of y'all, in turn, what was your favorite thing that came out of this year in our building year? Uh, and I'm going to pick on you first. 
Oh my goodness. I'm going to say the speaker panels. The speaker panels were such a genie too. Okay. So genie unmute. Just, yeah, that was really, uh, yeah, we did was, like, they were amazing. Yeah, it, and it was, you know, it was our first one and, you know, it was good to, to get that first one in, but, and we definitely learned a lot from doing it and do's and don'ts. And I just, I thank everyone that was on the panel so much because they were so much fun. Oh my goodness. We all learned stuff. I mean, there was times even that, you know, that like we were just kind of sitting there, just kind of mesmerized that like all the information and stuff. And it was just, it was fun. Those ladies were amazing. I think my favorite was when people were coming in, Jeannie, do you remember this? Cause we were in the room and people were coming in and they're going two hours and they're going, the audience is coming in. <laughs> We're not going to make two hours. They not only made two hours, they made two, four, six. They made all, they sat there and listened to all of it. And me too. Yeah. I didn't even want to go speak because I was enjoying listening to everybody's different perspective of the apple and how we all kind of work together. So amazing. Yeah, you're exactly right. You know, like whenever I was out there talking to people and stuff before they came inside, you know, they would be like, oh, wait, how long is it? Oh two hours i'm like oh it's okay you don't have to stay the whole time you know just come in you can go whenever you want to go they didn't want to go <laughs> they stayed <laughs> yeah it, it was it was really good i'm i was just really impressed by the ladies that we had on the panel for the panel that was a good speaker I'm really and we're happy for the next one <laughs> that reminds me i have to ask you guys we've got this in two, 2022 we have fairs coming up, right? Yes. And we've got our and we're doing our own fair. Do you guys want to talk about that? Oh, I'm sorry, Tanya, I flipped it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking you the questions. Yeah. You're gonna, wait, we're we're gonna gonna ask Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth, what was your favorite thing that came out of this year? I think the podcast. It's yeah, that's been yeah. fun for me to learn how to do podcasts and I Is enjoy listening to you guys speak and all the topics and yeah, and it's just a wealth of information. And on that note to also talk about the podcast as well as the speaker panels, we are also looking at ways that we can record the speaker panels and actually stream them. Mm -hmm. um, on our website in the future that is one of the things that we are working on in the the the, the future <laughs> but uh yes okay so for 2022 anna's already thrown it out there for our fairs and since Jeannie, you know we were talking about the panels we have been very blessed that we have some wonderful people that have agreed to work with us this year and let us come in on their fairs. Um, they've been doing fairs, well, health and wellness fairs in the Dallas area for 27 years. And um, so they have a little bit of the education component, but they saw the, the value in, in what we're doing too. So we're actually partnering with them to bring in additional educational panels to their fair. So we'll be partnering with them this year. And they actually have five in the DFW area this year. Well, actually, they have, um, I think, three in the DFW area. Then we have one in Conroe, one in Waxahachie, and one in Wichita Falls. So two in the Dallas at Fort Worth area. So we'll have a great one in Irving, I think is what it is. But then, um, Somewhere in all of this, we lost our mind and decided to do our own fair. <laughs> and we chose a spot that has a tremendous amount of healing value. Um, we chose Hot Springs, Arkansas. That whole area is, is built basically on top of Quartz Crystal. The vibrational frequency there is amazing. And they don't really have a whole lot of promotion. 
And what we're doing with our fair, and we're actually calling it a conference, because what we're trying to do with ours is this truly is a holistic fair. We're trying to bring every modality of healing, every healer, every wellness director, every life coach, every doctor that does alternative medicines, herbalist, everybody into one location for two days so people can come and hear about the different modalities and the different ways you can heal other than traditional medication medication or medicine um we will have vendors there we're going to have classes there we're going to have speaker panels there um it is going to be absolutely amazing and this will be in september of uh, 2022 september the 17th and 18th and it will be called the spirit mind and body conference because that's what we are doing and so, yes, we're a little passionate about that. And we went off a little rails there and just jumped right in. But we want to encourage everybody. We will start. We will have a, a, a Facebook site up soon. We will have it on Eventbrite. So you can start going and seeing what kind of things we will have. We even have a firewalker. So you could actually even participate in firewalking. There's going to be so much stuff there to do. It's going to be amazing. Don't forget it's podcasters. We're going to have pod podcasters live who are going to be interviewed. That's so right. can We're sit going to have live podcasters there throughout the day, both days. And some, and so we're for those we're who can't get out, you can tune yeah. in. Absolutely. And we'll have uh, entertainment. We're looking at entertainment and classes and workshops. So this is going to be an amazing event to really educate anybody wants to come and if you want to participate as vendors right tanya because uh, you're call me up or I'm all if over you're way, you can find me <laughs> or if you're a healer and you want to participate or you want to do a workshop or a class you need to call uh, or be on my panel or her panel yes genie's yes. panels ambassadors so it's going to be phenomenal i am so excited my hands start tingling all over <laughs> Yeah, and it's taken so, all of us. It's going to take all of us to do that this year, but it's going to be amazing. And like I said, that is one of the things that is truly um, phenomenal that's coming out of this next year is for those who actually can't get out, they truly can't get out of their homes, we will be able to stream to them so they can still receive healing in their homes. So... We've got lots and lots of good things coming up this next year. We are, um, The university is on hiatus right now for the uh, Christmas break. We'll be coming back in January with our developing groups and our study groups, as well as Light Code Portal. Um, but the workshops will begin again February 1st. So, and I, I also yeah. want to mention, Tanya, I just want to mention, if you are, if, if anybody who's interested, come to the, um, if you want to come to the fairs or find out how to get, Elizabeth is our marketing and media director. So she's over putting it. So we're going to try to upload some of those panels, as Jeannie said. But if you want to come in person or you want to experience some of those panels, come to the fairs that we're participating in. Because Jeannie's going to be, she's over that ambassador department putting the fairs to get that um the speaker panels is what I'm trying to say <laughs> together. And we have an events uh, tab on our website. In that events tab, that's where you will see what we have coming up for each of the fairs. So that way, if you want to participate, you check out that events tab. We have uh, a calendar. We've got the first three months of the year already uploaded to the system. So, um, but yeah, check out the website because if you want to attend or if you want to become a vendor or if you want to contact Jeannie to become a panelist, there is a contact form on our website. Just use that contact form. We will call you. All right. So let's go around and ending and let everybody say a few last words. Elizabeth, I'm going to pick on you since you were the quietest. <laughs> 
the reason I'm the quietest. <laughs> the reason I'm behind the scenes. I don't know. I don't really have any last words. It's been awesome this year working with you girls. I love it. It's been a lot of fun learning new things. And yeah, it's been, it's been a joy meeting the students that have come through, going to the classes with them. It's just been a lot of fun. I can't wait for 2022. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Jeannie, what about you? Yes. Um, well, I agree about, I have learned so much. I have come such a long way. And if you would have told me a year ago that I would be talking on a podcast, I'd have told you that you were crazy because I get scared to death. I can't stand up in front of people. And so it's just amazing what this group of ladies has been able to do together and how we've all grown. Yeah, it's and to, to watch the university come from just ideas to becoming what it is now and to know how great it's going to be. It's it's just it's wonderful being a part of it. So thank you. Thank you, Miss Jamie. Miss Anna. I'm going to times two on all of that. I mean, it's been amazing. You guys have been so much fun. We've had lots of growing pains, but it's been, it's amazing because we get to a point and then we expand bigger and then we get to a point where we stop and we expand bigger and everything kind of falls in place. And we're, it's just been amazing this whole year. So I have just enjoyed each one of you. I'm grateful, honored to be working with you and thrilled that we're going to move on to the next, next stage of stepping in. So very excited. I agree. It has been a wonderful year working with you ladies, creating. Um, we've had our growing pains, but that's with anything, and I'm sure we'll have more growing pains. Uh, one other thing for the future that I want to throw out there for anybody who's following us is we will be in the future. Uh, Elizabeth will be creating an online magazine um, with articles and so forth. That's where our newsletter will move to next. Um, but there again, that's the future. We're not sure exactly how quickly it will fall in place, but just keep paying attention to our website and following us on Facebook and we'll get there. So we want to tell you, thank you so much for all of our loyal people who follow us each time and, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, 